You've heard stories before about heavy drinking not being good for your brain, but now a new study from the University of Pennsylvania is raising some red flags about light drinking as well. CBS News correspondent Bradley Blackburn shows us the impact of just one drink a day. Many people enjoy the occasional glass of wine with dinner or a drink to wind down at the end of the day. Red wine and chocolate is a good combination. I usually have probably one drink later on in the evening. Research has long shown that those who drink heavily have changes in the structure and size of the brain that are associated with cognitive impairments. But now, a new study finds even just a few beers or glasses of wine a week may also be risky. Were you surprised by what you found? I was. I was surprised at just how little alcohol seems to be necessary to reduce brain volume. Dr. Henry Kranzler and researchers from the University of Pennsylvania looked at data on more than 36,000 adults and found light to moderate drinking was associated with reductions in overall brain volume. What happens in cases where people drink far more than one drink a day? The reductions are proportional. So the more you drink, the smaller the volume. For example, in 50-year-olds, increasing drinking from about half a beer a day to a pint of beer led to changes in the brain equivalent to aging two years. Dr. Kranzler says the study's findings are in contrast to current guidelines on safe drinking limits, which say no more than one drink per day for women, no more than two drinks per day for men. It's reasonable to have a small amount of alcohol, but I would discourage people from drinking more than one or two drinks on any occasion and no more than probably seven drinks on average in a week. Dr. Kranzler says about a third of the adult population drinks more than recommended, so cutting back could have real benefits. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. All right.